What's good, y'all? It's Rachel Jay here for another video, and today I'm going to continue on becoming content with God, right? And today's video, I'm going to talk about how God revealed that I was showing favoritism to some friends over other friends, and how that actually put kind of a pride in my heart was separating me from God. And yeah, we're just going to get into that whole topic, right? I'm going to talk about how um, I started to feel this distance between my friends, right? So when it comes to God, um, for example, like a marriage, right? Uh, marriage is supposed to be God in the center and then it's the, the husband and wife, right? And the closer they get to God, the closer they get with each other. And that is something that happens in friendships as well, especially God-centered friendships. And there was a period of time where where the friend group, it was only me and, and one of my other friends who were constant, like pursuing God heavily, right? Whereas the other ones stopped pursuing God at a rapid pace, like their hunger was starting to get like, they started to get less hungry. They, so they weren't filling themselves up with God as much. And in that, with our friendships being, being the foundation of God, uh, there was kind of a separation that was happening because as, as me and my brother were getting closer with God, uh, our sisters were kind of like at a distance, right? And, and yeah, so there was that separation that was happening, happening spiritually, right? And it kind of manifested itself uh, in the natural. But then once they started pursuing God at a different rate and started getting that hunger back, uh, I still kept that distance in my heart because also our sisters are newer towards newer to the faith, right? Newer to submitting to God. And in a way, I kind of developed this sense of pride and holier than thou syndrome which had me in a space where I didn't feel like I could receive or learn from them, which is in essence an error because First Timothy teaches us uh, that don't let them disqualify you because you're young. And the Holy Spirit revealed this to me today is like, that's not only talking about like your physical age, like because you're young, like young person, like me in my early 20s, right? But it's also talking about spiritually, when you're spiritually young, like when you're a babe in Christ, like there's still revelation that you can teach those who are a little bit more seasoned in the faith, right? So don't disqual don't let them disqualify you because you're young, whether that's physical or in or in the faith. Don't let them disqualify you because you're young, and that's something that the Holy Spirit had to correct me on. And I didn't really realize that until actually yesterday when I was having a conversation with Isaac. He was like, "It's kind of giving like you're showing like a favoritism," and then I was like, "Wow, that's sinful." <laughs> um, yeah, that's sinful, right? And. And it wasn't until I started like thinking and discussing in my head with Holy Spirit, and it was like, no, it was a it was a pride issue because you were thinking, you were exalting yourself, you were exalting your relationship, and thinking that you were higher or too important, like too important to actually hear the revelation that's coming from your siblings, and that was putting a pride in your heart. And the word also says that God resists the proud but exalts the humble. So I had to humble myself before God and, and repent. Um, in order to get back into that space of intimacy that I was losing with the Holy Spirit and by losing that with the Holy Spirit I was lost also losing that intimacy with my other friends, right? So what really knocked on the door of this was when I started feeling a separation between me and my brother, right? And just two reasons for that one because uh, God is setting us up as a friend group for for him to go into a space of isolation so he can be more intimate with the Holy Spirit so that when he does return, the friendship will be stronger because his relationship with the Holy Spirit will be stronger, right? But then also there's a second thing because I had an unhealthy attachment that I, that was developing because uh, I was seeing me as the reason why our, our friendship was getting stronger, but it was, in reality it's because we were both pursuing God in a specific way. Therefore, the strength of our bond was held together with the Holy Spirit. And with me losing that bond with the Holy Spirit, well, loosening that bond, because I didn't lose it. Me loosening that bond with the Holy Spirit also kind of loosened our relationship our relationship but then also there's a third thing because the Holy Spirit wanted me to become more dependent on him than the relationships that he's placed me around right so in a similar way to how um, how Abraham had to was asked to give up Isaac I had to give up Isaac it's that's crazy because his name is Isaac uh, but I had to give up Isaac and even even Logan and Katia I had to give up my relationships with them and present them as a sacrifice unto God so they did not become idols and by doing that, the Holy Spirit comes in. So let's go ahead and get into the scriptures that go along with this video. So James 2, 9. But if you favor some people over others, you are guilty of committing a sin. And you are guilty of breaking the law. In 1 Timothy 4, 12. Don't let anyone think less of you because you are young. 
Be an example to all believers in what you say, in the way you live, in your love, your faith, and your purity. And the last, the last scripture for this, for this section or for this video, because it's the end of the video, y'all, is James 4, 7 through 10. So humble yourselves before God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Come close to God, and he will come close to you. Wash your hands, you sinners. Purify your hearts, for you lover, for your loyalty is divided between God and the world. Let there be tears for what you have done. Let there be sorrow and deep grief. Let there be sadness instead of laughter and gloom instead of joy. Humble yourselves before the Lord and he will lift you up in honor. So with the Lord calling me back to himself, that means everything, every gift, every, everything that already belongs to him must be presented back to him as a sacrifice, as an offering. Even my own body has to be presented back to him as a sacrifice and an offering so that I may be able to live again. Um, and live in him in the newness that he's called me to um, and I hope that this video uh, actually gives give you clarity on anything that you may be dealing with um, I hope that if you relate to this video that you have some form of understanding that comes from from the things that I said from the word um, well really the things and revelation that the Holy Spirit is giving me it, it's really not me y'all because to be honest if it wasn't for the Holy Spirit revealing some of this stuff I would have still been in the same cycle with the same mindset and the same uh same favoritism in treating other people in situations unfairly. Uh, the reality is we can't do this life without God at all. <laughs> Even when he called us to community, that's a gift that he has given us. And that community can only flourish when you all are submitted to God. So in reality, everything comes and flows from God. So yeah, the reality is you can't do this life without God. And you must, everything must stem from your intimacy and your revelation and your, um, and your time with God. And right now, I feel God calling me back to himself in a deeper and intimate way. And just these these little snacks in his word, little snacks in his in his in his presence just won't do. Like he's calling me somewhere deeper. And that's even why the videos have slowed up because this channel I only post on here when the Holy Spirit gives me stuff to post. When he gives me revelation to post. And if I'm ghosted for a season. That means I'm in a season where I'm isolating and getting revelation from the Holy Spirit and there's nothing to give. Um, so even this channel is is a sacrifice. It's something that is presented back to him. Once I post it on this thing consistently three times a week, um, trying to exalt myself, even when I use the Lord's name, my purpose and intent was to exalt myself. And even as like Jeremiah was saying to Jeremiah 20, like, like he can't, like he can't not not speak the word because the word is like burden on his heart it's burden on his lips like it hurt it's like more of a resistance to keep your mouth shut when the lord is giving you something to present to him like uh yeah so like this yeah everything in my life is a sacrifice to him like every single thing um and he's even teaching me this one other other different ways and i could talk for every y'all because the lord has been so good and he's just been revealing new things there's brand new not only is there goodness and mercy brand new every day, but there's even like new revelation every day if you just allow him to just just be himself and just pour into you. Because that's all he wants to do. He wants you to be presented back to him so you be so you can be restored back into a relationship. That's all he wants, y'all. He created us for relationship to worship and honor him, to be in his presence. He created us as his children. He created us as a beautiful creature, y'all. We are we are supposed to be restored back to being good, y'all. When he created the earth and everything in it he said it was good but the thing that created created this this version of earth this perversion this fallen world is because something came into the world that was not good and that was rebellion that that produced sin and as a result of sin constantly being here from generation to generation over these thousands of years it is produced so much death and decay and that's not god's original design and he wants us to be restored back to life in abundance and this is, this is, I'm talking about spiritual abundance, not talking about monetary, like, nah, we got to get out this, this Western mentality that abundance is all about money and things. No, abundance is spending more time in the presence of God. Abundance is actually walking in your authority, in the authority he's giving you. Abundance is actually bringing more people to the kingdom so they may experience the creator. Like, abundance is so amazing to be just in his presence. Um, so yeah, I love y'all. Uh, if you like this video, like, comment, and subscribe. Um, there's going to be more content coming when the Holy Spirit reveals it. 
Um, yeah, love y'all. <laughs> Bye. To God be the glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Whenever I start doubting, losing faith and drowning, I'll just start running, running to you. You take me places that I've never been before. Show me proof that I really am restored. And I know that there always is more. Keep on running.